everyone. It's Tuesday, July 10th, 2018, and it's time to go to work on music. It's been a great day. I'm in a really good place and excited for productive session as usual. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Gonna hit uh, some online classes, update you guys with what's going on with the Home Mastering Masterclass. Gonna get a quick drum practice in and share my progress, and then going to move forward with uh, some new arrangement ideas for a new Aeon's tune. Let me know if you guys have any questions as we go through the session, and I'll update you at the end with what I accomplish. Let's do it. session honestly I just came into the session feeling um, feeling off and I felt like I was just battling my way through the day up until that point and didn't want to give it too much more weight than it actually had in the intro see if I could shake it off which I eventually got to a good place but just I think you know some days are better than others I think I probably made some decisions yesterday and this morning that just ended up sort of having this domino effect for me um, uh, but yeah I got into the online class front and got through about half of week eight of the home mastering master class and he's mastering this jazz tune and the main takeaway from that for me was when you're mastering some songs across an entire record you know you want to make it like different sections in a mix where it's really like there's a real band performing that stuff and like the person who's about to do his little lick is going to turn up a little bit and then kind of fade back into the background and it's your job as the mix engineer to make sure that that stuff sounds natural and organic and feels good and I think the same thing about the mastering engineer it's just across an entire album like some tracks sort of bring the energy up some tracks sort of bring the energy you know down have a more chilling cooling effect or something like that so you don't just want to go in there and just smash everything and make the same volume or loudness it just doesn't make sense and like thinking about it that way is just so obvious you know but until you really see it in front of you sometimes it doesn't connect like that so um that was a great takeaway from there, I got a quick drum practice in. I'm mostly just in maintenance mode with my uh, drumming right now. I'm not really putting a lot of energy into growing, but my hope is uh, once I get this latest record off the ground, I'll sort of re-zero in on my instrumental skills, do some more guitar and drum work uh, intensely for maybe a few months, and then, you know, get going with the next record after that. Um, after that, I just got into listening to the new Aeons track and kind of seeing where everything is sitting. And I just, I really like the results I got from comping the bridge section parts together. I just felt like I was able to focus on making every note like exactly the way I wanted it to be. And I, I didn't have to compromise on anything that I didn't want to. And I went back and listened to the intro part that I spent months on and like, it's okay. I mean, it's usable, but like, I just kept feeling like this isn't how I want it to sound. So I'm going to go back and do some comped versions of that. Just break the, break the part down and uh, see if I can get something I'm really happy with there. And then if I want to come back and challenge myself and push myself to do it all in one take, then, you know, great. But I think right now the priority is just getting the stuff the way I want it to sound, and I think that'll be worth it. And if I don't feel right about that eventually, then I won't do it. But I figure that's a good next step for now, and uh, I'll start fleshing out the rest of the song after I get that stuff, after I get the foundation really rock solid, if that makes sense. So that's where I'm at today. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals and enjoying the process. That's what I'm out here doing, just embracing the struggle. And I know that these challenges I'm facing internally, externally right now are going to make me better, and I'm going to come back on the next level, you know, just because I took a step back today, or felt like I took a step back today, um, doesn't mean I'm not going to reach my ultimate goal. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Can't wait.